All right, guys, just a little uh, preface to the video that I just recorded. Um, I forgot to mention that I, uh, so I initially swapped the new stator in there, took out the old coil, put the new coil in as well with the new stator, didn't change the flywheel. Um, when I did that, I did check the stator. Um, to check the stator, all you have to do is pull off, uh, it'd be the, yeah, it's the front, this top clip up there, just that little uh, little plug-in connector. You pull that off and then you probe the side that the wire comes in on, on there. Um, I think you can probe probably either side and it would work too. I think the reading was like point, uh, 0.43 uh, K ohms. So, uh, it was almost in spec, so I was like, it's got to be close enough because the other one ohmed out at jack crap. Um, so I was like, all right, this has got to work. So then um, you'll see the rest of the video, kind of what I did with it. So just a little preface to what I did. Um, I forgot to mention that when I was doing my initial video. So with that being said, enjoy the video, guys. Hey guys so in today's video, we're going to be doing uh, a little bit of an update on the KTM 50s. Uh, I picked up both of these KTM 50s probably about a month ago now. Uh, they've kind of been some ongoing projects for me. I do have a few clips that I'll insert after this about this one, um, or maybe actually let's talk about it right now. So this one runs, but it needs an intake boot desperately. Um, it's probably hard to see with the lack of light, but it's cracked literally all the way around um, where the carburetor goes into the flange. So. That one I'm waiting on a boot, and would you know it, they don't have the boot in stock, so back order. What's new, right? This guy, uh, this guy actually, uh, I pulled apart the carburetor. The intake boot isn't too bad on this one, should be runnable. Um, but I pulled apart the carburetor, carburetor is clean, um, but I was having a problem. Uh, I checked spark, whatever, it didn't have spark. So uh, what was on it was this here stator and coil and this flywheel okay so what i did is they it actually came with a stator flywheel and coil setup as you can see there so this is the one that was in there and it actually has the uh a cdi box too so you know kind of how that would work is that you know the coil uh the stator sorry the flywheel would spin you know it would push the spark up through I mean, the box was tapped into the coil and the kill switch. There's wires that run down from here and it splices off to three. So what I did is I just disconnected that box entirely and only have the um, main wire coming off the stator, which plugs in to this, uh, this little guy right here, the spade. So I plugged him in and from there, I uh, just hooked up the ground and then plugged in this wire here, uh, which I believe that runs at the kill switch. Um, and then that obviously runs to a ground. So that's what I did. And then it had intermediate spark because I didn't have a flywheel puller to pull off the flywheel. So I was like, eh, you know, it's probably just a flywheel. So I uh, ordered up the Tusk flywheel puller, uh, the little guy right here, zipped it right off and sure enough, put on the new flywheel and the thing started up so pretty juiced about that and i mean these things are known to have stator problems so what i'm going to do is go ahead and regoup up the gasket for the cover here and then reapply that and we should be uh we should be golden guys i think so that's what we're going to do uh, i'll maybe try to set up the camera here and we can get a little little bird's eye or maybe i'll just jump to after and then kind of drained out the gas out of the tank because it had some race gas in there and I don't don't want to take any chances so I'm going to drain the gas out, put some fresh 91, no ethanol, mix up, uh, look up probably what, what spec they're running for these things. Might just run like a 32 to 1 um, just to be, be a little well, on the safer side. But that's kind of where I'm at on both of these. Um, they're both pretty, pretty decent bikes. I mean this one's got some aftermarket parts, you know, the case saver. Um, just some bling covers, you know, sprockets, uh, chain guide, uh, axle, um, the adjusters for the axle, but desperately uh, needs a chain tighten as well. 
So even if we get it running, um, obviously not gonna gonna drive it in the state. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at on this thing. I believe this one uh, needs needs the brakes bled too. But uh, pick these things up for guys for a good deal. Uh, you guys can guess down in the comments what we picked these two up for. They have a lot of potential. I have the owner's manual and stuff like that with them, bunch of spare parts. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get to buttoning this sucker up and uh, get a first start for you guys. Alrighty guys, we got that all cleaned up and regooped up, so. Go for the money shot here. Uh, where the heck did I put those bolts? There you are. guys we got that all torqued up as it should be um, everything else on here should be good to go the uh, the only thing that I might have to do is kind of recenter this carburetor because it looks a little a little off camber so I might have to do that here but other than that I'm gonna drain out the gas out of the tank put some fresh in there and we should be ready to roll all right, guys, we got the gas tank hooked up. Now we just need to connect the fuel line to the petcock, which is kind of a bastard to do, honestly. I think I used a needle nose, maybe. Oh, I got it on, I think. No clamp, that's factory. Okay, so yeah, we got that on. I shook the tank around good before I put it on here, so we should be. Uh, Mixed well. Alright, let's open her up. And then I might, yeah, I might rotate that carburetor quick too. There we go. All right, and I might have to adjust the idle too a little bit. Cause I know I'll goof around with that for some reason. Okay, all right. I think we're ready to try to start this hog. Put the slow seat on. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can get a, hopefully, <laughs> A first start up on this thing. I didn't take boot does have some cracks in it, so hopefully that doesn't affect it too much. I'm kind of tuck myself away in this corner pretty good, but let's uh
Heck yeah! This thing runs pretty solid, guys. I'd say. First kick, too. That's when you know you got it right, boys. So yeah, she uh, she runs, guys. Runs pretty dang well, too, as you saw there. Um, obviously, these things need to be cleared out and run pretty good. So, uh, yeah, look forward to our next video, probably being a riding video on this thing. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on anything. Um, I might try to, because these boots are on back order, I might try to just goop up those boots a little bit with some, uh, maybe a layer of RTV first and then some silicone over the top. Um, but, yeah. All right, guys, we will uh, catch you in the next one. Peace.